Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's the 50 TPPR, uh, driven by Noob, spelt wrong. He's such a noob, he spelt his name wrong. Zero, zero, noob. <laughs> I like your name, buddy. He's got the gun rammer, vert stabs, and I believe that's improved rotation, and more vert stab directive. Or is that, or is that turbo? I think it's uh, improved rotation. And he is a tier eight, uh, a tank of the premium variety, I believe. He's gonna have a fantastic game. Yes, I'm still, I'm wearing my uh, emote shirt again. Did you enjoy that yesterday? If you wanna learn a little bit about uh, spotting and mechanics and using the game uh, mechanics to your advantage, uh, watch yesterday's video. It was very informative. I must say so, I watched it. I was shocked at how informative my video was. <clears throat> I shock myself sometimes. I, I thought it was gonna be like a, a you know, watching two mid-tier light tanks. I thought we would have some funny shenanigans, but no, no, we got into a discussion of how the uh, mechanics work and how to use them to your advantage uh, by equipping your tank a certain way and observing certain things in the battle and, uh, do, you know, and so on and so forth. So I will not disclose. Look at these two. They've got the same, let's see, the same similar concealment patterns interesting <laughs> a little bit higher uh, game a uh, higher tier gameplay today it's gonna be good it's gonna be great how are you guys doing how's your year going so far you know the year is uh, finally it's kind of gaining some traction now spring is around the corner right for some people spring is already here this guy, he's just, uh, he's, he's very, he's a very nice person. He's saying to everyone, I, you know, thank you. And I, I think he's trying to be, oh no, now he's saying fall back. I, I thought he's trying to be friendly so that they would come and assist him when he overcommits. <laughs> you don't have gun depression, which, uh, which is difficult on this tank. And you're fighting one that kind of does have gun depression. And he's back, he's baiting you to show your, your, your hull. A 53 TP could probably use his gun depression here to put a couple of shots into him, but he's not. He's backed up too far, but he did. He did. So that's the difference between gun depression and no gun depression. Uh, that's why fighting in a position like this, uh, I mean, it, it, there's such a huge advantage to gun depression, right? Gun depression! But this guy, he's leaving his Capola. Uh, the 53 TP... Once he baited that shot, should have taken the shot. He, he baited the shot and then backed up. But now he's going to... Oh, and he's not shooting. Okay. The, the, you're not doing it right, buddy. Yes, now he got it. 53 TP. The first shot he capitalized on, but then he kind of fumbled the ball. No reason a 53 TP can't dominate this uh, corner here. It's going to be a little harder with this uh, Emil 1 helping him now but uh, at the beginning I don't know I, I think the guy just played a little too tentative right he, he was up against this guy that has no gun depression as soon as this guy shoots that 53 TP knows he has about 10 seconds to just pull out aim on the roof the roof the roof is on fire and uh, you know make him pay no uh, look look how much he has to commit his hull to take this shot and the uh, oh yeah, the 53 TP is not playing well. He bounced an ISU 152 who hit his turret. That tells him where that guy is. Camping over here somewhere. Look, guys, some, somewhere over here. I would not tempt fate again. You, you don't want... Oh, he bounced 520. He did tempt fate again. He bounced two big... Uh, TD guns there, T TD shells. He's bounced 1,640. He bounced a 750 uh, heat shell from the ISU 152. He bounced a heat shell. Wow. And he bounced a regular shell from the SU 130 PM. The heat shell, I'm surprised that he bounced, but he did it. And now, oh, that guy's over committing and he hit the ground. <laughs> Meanwhile, his team is arguing. Shut up, idiot, one of his teammates says. You did shut up! And now, the, oh, the SU is just rushing his shots. 
You don't have the gun to... Is, is it, see how frustrating it is not having the gun depression? And he bounced another heat shell for 700. Off his turret. It's from a, a long way away. It's hard to know where to aim on this thing, right? If you aim at the upper hull, it's probably an auto bounce. The turret, if you hit the wrong spots, it's going to bounce. Lower plate is probably a bad angle and hard to hit. Heat shell from the ISU-152. What's the heat shell pen on the ISU-152? On the SU-152, it's 250, but that's a tier 6 tank. This is the uh, uh, tier 8 tank. I, I think the heat shell is over 300 pen, isn't it? It, dep it all depends where, uh, where he took the hit. But he bounced them, which is uh, all that's important now. And he, any other tank would have taken out that SU-130PM. as he, Any tank with some gun depression. Then on the other hand, any tank, any other tank may not have bounced. The SU, ISU-152 and the SU-130PM. So, pros and cons, right? Pros and cons. And to me, I, I would really be hard to give up the gun depression for the better armor. I think he was lucky on one, one or two of the bounces. Uh, and giving up the gun depression just makes your damage dealing so much harder. Uh, case in point is why the Super Conqueror is viewed as one of the best. Because not only does it... Uh, have the gun depression it also has the turret armor that make the 60 tp the polish tier 10 heavy tank super conquer both have super conquer extreme the polish one pretty good gun depression and amazing turrets and now there's the uh the japanese the tier 10 japanese one snap it snap it snap it you won't hit what you don't shoot at you should have snapped it what did you save by not shooting? I always say, <clears throat> if there's a chance, pull the trigger, right? Oh, now he has to face, oh look, he's not gonna go help your teammate. He's gonna, you continue to uh, run away, you're gonna get spotted by the same guy who spotted you a minute ago. <clears throat> the same hit you just took, he gets away. He gets away. He's moving to another spot, he can't even get away very fast because if those enemies at A2 move up quickly, they'll catch up to him and they'll spot him. This is very dangerous. You have to rely on the enemies being Muppets. If they're Muppets, you'll get away. If they know what they're doing, if they press the attack, you're dead. <clears throat> uh, I was going to say, the, the Japanese heavy is also very formidable. Uh, and that's why other tanks like the E100 suck, right? Because... You point your turret at someone and you you expose your weak spot. So what? You have a little bit more HP that they could farm. <laughs> and things have gone from bad to worse. And now it's just a 53 TP on his team. And a Centurion that's uh, complaining, calling this guy a bot because the Centurion died. And uh, he didn't. <clears throat> Right? It's, it's always the guy who dies who uh, berates the guy that didn't die. Oh, that's tough. Nothing you can do there except uh, decide which... No, don't, don't turn around. I would fight the guy in front of you. Yeah, I, I'd take another hit from behind and kill the guy in front of you because now you're going to take multiple hits here. And this is one of those situations. You got a guy in front and a guy behind. Why would you take the time... To shoot the guy behind when you could have lined up. Just scoot it down and shot the guy that was in front. But it's going to work out. It's going to work out because the guy on the other side didn't take advantage. See, this T-54 modified is going to be really upset. Because he flanked. And while he flanked, and this guy turned around, aimed and took a shot. And then reloaded. Which in total takes 20-25 seconds. While this T-54 committed, forced this heavy tank to turn around, aim, shoot, reload again. The Muppet in the in the WZ didn't move up. He said, oh, my, my teammate in the T-54 Modified is flanking. Let me just sit here and watch what happens. 
and uh, the T if I were the T54 modified, I'd be furious. Because they had them. You did the right job, buddy. You did the right job. I feel, I feel for the T54 modified guys. Because look at this. Let's stop here. This Muppet. This complete Muppet. Muppet. Right, that guy. He's moving up. He sees him. Then he notices his teammate approaches from behind and shoots him. Then this guy, and he's in view because he's spotted, right? He sees this guy turn around. It takes him this long to turn around. He aims. He shoots. Then you got about 12 seconds of time. He's, gonna, he's facing the wrong way and he has 12 second reload. WZ doesn't press the W key. Well, if you were the T-54 modified, how would you react? Would you be in chat right now saying, You stupid Muppet! Uninstall! What's wrong with you? For crying out loud! I flanked! Come to... To help you! And you do fuck all! Would you, would you be the, that guy in chat or would you say, Oh well. <laughs> There's many different reactions to that. If you're the kind of guy that could just say, eh, oh well. Let's move on to the next one. If you're that kind of guy, that's good. <laughs> Let's, oh, oh, oh. Oh, now a full HP. The same guy he bounced twice. Who's now thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to make you pay now. But he doesn't. Oh, you missed. You had time because he wasn't aiming at you, but you rushed your shot. One penetration from the ISU 152. And what is he doing? What are you doing? One shot. Uh, why the ISU 152 doesn't... I think the guy's throwing the game. You know, maybe this is... Uh, they know each other, so it can't be. Right, what are you doing, ISU 152? What are you... Doesn't even press the trigger. How anticlimactic. But, anyway. <clears throat> Let's see if he... Whoa! Oh my. Oh my, oh my. And I was going to say, while I was interrupted twice, one penetration from the ISU 152 and he's dead. And we know he's firing heat. And he's in a bad position now. Doesn't this guy know he's not facing? Is it? No. He's going to pop in the bush here and get himself shot. Is he going to do it? Is he a Muppet? Guys, is the ISU 152 a Muppet? He's not a complete Muppet. He shot him twice. He bounced. Right? He got unlucky twice. Oh, there's a tree down. That's a big mistake. That's it. Game's over. He knocked the tree down. He knows he's there. Oh, and he bounced. Now, is he going to move up and shoot? Okay, I'm going to stop it right here again. Guys, it's not rocket science. Okay? That's the game. The ISU 152. Uh, uh, ho Horatian 23. He just shot. He bounced. You got lucky you bounced the shot. You got 10, 12, 14 seconds f before he reloads. All you have to do is press the W key. Come around and win the game. It's, it's, watching these players is just, uh, it's excruciating how bad the uh, players are. It's excruciating how bad the average player is, guys. It's, it's not rocket science. I, I'm sorry to say, it just isn't, and you deserve to lose. Uh, ISU 152, you just deserve to lose. Uh, excruciating. I know in the heat of the moment you have to make decisions, right? It's Sometimes you're under stress and stuff, but well done, uh, ooh noob. And, um, and ISU 152, so you took six shots, you hit four, and you bounced uh, two. Uh, you did 1,286 damage, but man... You, you gotta, guys, don't play like that. Now, I know guys in the heat of the battle, sometimes, uh, you know, these things are hard to keep in your head, uh, especially when there's lots of tanks around. Uh, you pull around the corner, an enemy shoots you, whether he pens or bounces is irrelevant, but then you're trying to figure out, well, what do I do? Uh, do I, you don't want to pull around the corner to return fire because there might, he might have three allies. 
You know, there might be four guns pointed at you. You know what I'm saying? So you, I can understand the hesitation, but uh, you got to think on the on the on the fly. It's the end of the game, one v one. You know, that's what wins or loses the games, right? Or you know, two v two or three v three. When it, when there's not very many tanks left, the odds are <laughs> you're fighting a one v one with whoever, whatever tank you're you're staring at, and that's. You have to understand that or you'll suck forever, okay? Uh, when, when you pull out, it's, and some players use the techniques called baiting the shot, especially if you have armor. You're putting your tank at an angle to bait the shot. You ever see an object 279E like on the rocks or a super conquer poking and showing his turret? No, he's hoping you will shoot. Why is he hoping you will shoot? Because he knows if you shoot, uh, then... He's got 10 seconds to shoot you back while you reload. And if you give uh, enemies the freebie, the get out of jail free card, if you say, you know, shoot me. Oh, I bounced the shot. Or he, especially if he pens you. If you just say, oh, I'm scared. I'm going to stay behind the rock. I know the tendency is, especially when you're a beginner, is to just say, I'm scared. I'll stay behind the rock. You're just you're just letting them reload for free. You have to make them pay to reload. You, you, you gotta make them pay. So that ISU-152, he's just sitting there. The, the tank shoots him, he luckily he bounces the shot. You gotta make that guy pay to reload. You gotta pull out and shoot him back. And in that case, he would've won the game. Um, and that, that's just simple, that, you know, if you don't get that, if you're too timid that you want to just stay be, behind cover. Now in a situation like this, look, there's, let, let's look here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, four plus two. There's six targets that can shoot him. So when one of the players shoots, uh, he's got to be careful, <laughs> right? Seven, there's an artillery as well. You got to be careful when there's seven guns shooting at you. I understand that, right? But you got to evolve with the game. Evolve with the game. Now, uh, rant over. Why am I showing you this game? Because I mentioned the uh, uh, the Japanese STB1 uh, gun depression, and you see the uh, the power. Oh, he took one there that he didn't want to. Uh, the power of gun depression, right? That this. Not, not as much armor, but the gun depression makes it a virtually... He's not indestructible, but it makes it so much harder for the enemies. Oh, look at that. So, one of the best tanks in the game for gun depression, giving us a, a lesson on how to use it. And you know what? Uh, this game has a lot of ridge lines. It has a lot of uh, choke points that have undulations and ridge lines. So I think tanks with gun depression have a uh, formidable advantage, which uh, goes to the, the opposite of saying, you know, oh, Russian tanks always have the advantage. The Russian tanks don't have uh, the best gun depression. So on a lot of maps, the Russian tanks simply do not have the advantage because they would have to crest this hill. And like an IS-7 trying to play this position would suck. In an IS-7, I'd go to A1 around that rock, get hull down behind the rock where you could shoot straight, which would also be a huge advantage for whatever team you're on. So you got to play the strengths of your tank and avoid the weaknesses, right? So the STB-1 here, just, just beautiful. Uh, very beautiful. So I would select gun depression if it's up to me. I would select gun depression because I'd be better at making the gun depression work than making my armor work. It's hard to make your armor work. It is very hard. You have to angle right, you have to bait the shots right, you have to... Ooh, that was a mistake. You have to... Um, whoa! The STB ones uh, exchange fire. Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't! He's gonna reload as fast as you. I was like, goes for the Coppola and gets him! Oh! There is a Coppola! Oh! Oh, the DPM as well. Now, lower alpha, but really good DPM. So, yeah, I, I would prefer um, gun depression to armor. 
personally, but some people really know how to make armor work. And there's an art to it. Uh, you see some of the really good players playing the uh, uh, the mouse or the um, the E100, angling, angling the turret between shots. If you're doing it properly, you're formidable. And uh, if you're playing the some Russian tanks, IS-7, Object 279E, uh, and you get to some rocks and you actually create more of an angle by oh, like dry humping the rocks. <laughs> And moving up so that your your uh, uh, your upper plate is even more of an auto bounce angle, and your and your cupolas are hidden. It's uh, yeah, it's there's an art to that. I'm not very good at that. I'm better at uh, getting to a a good position if I got good gun depression. This guy's just done a beautiful job, and he's pumped out over seven thousand damage, and he's gonna probably take a blind shot here, which missed. But do it again. Do it again. Come on. You might be there. Be careful, though. You don't want to just press W now. Now, those guys, if there is someone there, you, something else to notice, guys. If there is someone there, let's. I'll, I'll pause it for just one second. If the Conway is there, he's not at risk, right? Because the Conway is outside his white circle, which means the STB-1 is outside the Conway's white, white circle because math. Uh, so he's not going to get detected if he's here. Even if he shoots, he can take some blind shots and he won't get detected if the Conway's there. The Conway, if he gets hit, might blind shoot him. That'd be a tough shot. So now, until that white circle gets to that little alcove, that little ledge there, he's not at risk of being spotted. Unless the Conway moved closer, which is, there's nowhere to move closer, really. Unless he comes off that cliff. So where is he going to go? So that was a little aside. Right? Look at the last known positions and the circles and you'll know whether you're, you can get spotted or not. So he can blind shoot from there all day and remain undetected. <clears throat> Approach, oh, there's the Conway. The Conway was there. So a, a few blind shots might have hit. And now if he sh uh, there's a rock in the way. The Conway is kind of in the little alcove there. So maybe the blind shots wouldn't have hit. But if the Conway poke that other side a blind shot would have hit now he's got a good hull down position here to take out the grille you don't need an he shell because he doesn't have that much hp beautiful this guy knows what he's doing he's got three marks on his barrel well done good show good show my friend it's uh martin 14 from the sis clan and now boom he did it well done well done well done Oh no, wait, there's one more. There's a shit barn with two kills. A full HP shit barn. Ooh, more farming to do. Now you load H. There's two more. There's an SPG. Close, you're not paying attention. Load HE now. Load HE. Because now you want HE. You shoot that big, fat, stupid tank. See? Shoot HE. Why are you carrying two HE shells? Why do you have two HE shells? That guy has no armor. Oh, you would have had more damage in this game. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. But uh, well done, well done. You only carry two HE shells. Why not use them? If you're not going to use them now, when are you going to use them? But guys, he did uh, 8,256. Nothing to sneeze at, right? Five kills. And he lost a shit ton of credits because reasons. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, and um, I'll catch you on the next one.